Hello friends, Peter is here helping me and yesterday I said composite sandwich that's the really best material and some people said but it's too difficult to build it in. Now I've been building boat in many different materials, metal, composite, wood and I'm going to show you to start I say the easiest material to build is in aluminum, but in the early days I had a lot of wooden boats. I lived on an island and there's one boat I had, I planted, but it was really too big and there was a lot of rot in it. This boat, a Baltic shader, was even more rot in it, was very, very rot and uh, never really got sailed, we just anchored it up there. This one I did a bit sailing, cruising around in. It was a uh, oil engine, you know, like, I don't know what they call it in English, heavy bulb. You have to heat the bulb and then starting it with a hand and then, yeah, it was a two stroke engine, but it was very big, a big flywheel, like how heavy, I don't know, really know. Well, anyway, after that, I built a little crewer. Like this, this is just my set. Here is out on the island, and uh, but this was just three meters long, like 10 feet in the capsize. And, and then I had this boat, that's like five and a half meters long, and was and then I had this boat, and also a wooden boat. This is all wooden boat. And uh, here were the two girls, the French girls, and that was 1968 and I sailed to England with it. But people keep telling me it's too little, too little. What's better? Oh, you find more girls, but so two girls in this boat was plenty enough, you know, so it didn't bother me too much, you know. But anyway, they say it was more safe for the bigger boat and was faster and things like this. I thought I'd do like slukum, get the old wreck. So I went back to Göteborg, I found this wreck. It had really been a steamboat. It was from 1885 with steam engine and it been in one of our big lakes, but then going passengers. And, but then before the war, 1930, something like that, they got the steam engine out and put another engine in. But during a fire, it sunk and they sunk it up in Jönköping, Munkholm, many years and someone put it there. So I got it for like next to nothing. Then 1955, I was working on a uh, uh, factory making uh, ammonia, like the Bosch Harbor process is 1% of all the energy in the world goes to this process, the Harbor Bosch process. They make nutrition from the nitrogen in the air. There's only some plants like, I make this little piece, they can make it, but no other plants. So it was hard work, but I got it in November, and it was cold and ice, worked the whole winter, and then in August I left. Here is this done, it was all the welding, and like I said, was stick welding with this one. And I sailed, I met a girl in the Canary Islands, and we sailed down to Rio Janeiro, spent some time there. But it proved that big boats got big problems. So I started oh, a smaller one. And before I've been converting boats. So this boat I built in my mother's basement. And like here and it was quite good, it was cool molded and here is the door it has to go out through and here is me and the boat and I built several boats, cool molded boats, you know, like over the years and then I tried to go sail around Cape Horn and I boat was capsized and pit pulled there in the roaring forties I sailed to the USA and I said back to Sweden after six years or four years. And then I started building a boat in aluminum. And aluminum is really the most easy material to build. It's quick, you have to know how to weld of course, but 
that's no problem. And uh, it's not really suitable for a small boat, despite that. This guy, Sir Testa, he built a 12 foot boat in aluminum and sail around the world, smallest boat in the world. So, but it doesn't prove that aluminum is good, just proved that he's a very smart guy <coughs> and a hero. And then had some experience with production boats. With this man you can see in the film, he sailed to Florida in a Vega. This is really bad quality on the Vega. This production boat and not good. Despite that, uh, this Norwegian guy, I forgot his name. Oh, he said he was like 19 years old, so he sailed to Antarctica in the Vega and Matt Rutherford. He said all around the Americas, the Northwest Passage, down south, around Cape Horn, and back to Annapolis. So, but both of these boats were broken, and uh, when they, well, I mean, they were just into small pieces. So, uh, aluminum is very, very easy to build, and fast and quick, and you can use tools for woodworking, like, uh, uh, circular saw, you know, you took the tungsten carbide tip place and just cut it. And uh, wood is really, I say, the most difficult. I mean, it's not that difficult, anyone can build it. But composites, you got the sandwich, and you use the epoxy with thicken air, and you can put it, and you can read holes it, and you can plug the holes, and it's so easy, you know, it's, it's, it's not, it's so easy, you're not like even a boat builder anymore, you are like, uh, you know, one of the bakers making pastry and things like that, just putting things together <laughs> and mix it and the next day you come back, it's just hard and nice, you know, you could never do that in wood, wood you have to think ahead and so don't let the idea that sandwich construction is difficult to do, it's more easy. Although I like to, I like to think I'm a uh, man who can do difficult things, you know, but this is not difficult. So, thank you, Peter, and thank you, everyone, my friends. This is from Irwin. Goodbye.